Hello my friends, Bayani here. How are you doing today? In this video here we're gonna show you guys how to prepare a balcony to seal it with a liquid membrane. This would be something like this one we're gonna use for the top coat except gonna be light gray. This one is dark gray that I used on the previous job. It would be master seal but light gray. And uh, here we have a uh, two type of sander to send some high spot here because I just want it to be a kind of straight. And that's where we're gonna put the drip cap. We just uh, want to go about one eight low. This is a regular sander. How you put the sand tape on it? Belt sander. You just pull the lever out, just like that. Just grab one piece of this. Just go right in there, eh? There you go. Then once you're done, you just let it go. And then you're good to run. This one is a 50, 50 grid. And then we have this one that is a 36 grid. That is for this small sand over here. And once we've done all that, and then we're gonna use this uh, master seal sealing compound. This is gonna go on the joint to fill in all these joints and crack. At the same time, once we have that one there, we're gonna use this tape. This I believe is a polyestamine tape, it's not a fiberglass. You can see it's very, very thin tape. It would go on the joint like that once we put this one guys in to help seal. And we're gonna do all the high spot with that. And the gun, this is not a regular gun that we're gonna use, the gun is this one. Like you can open it and screw it from both sides. And then you just grab this guy, push it in. Once you have it in there, you're just gonna get a knife. I'm not gonna do right now because I'm not ready it yet. You're just gonna cut and screw this one back. And then you're good to go. You can see the difference of the gun. It's just like a tube, and then you can take it apart from both sides. And then it's just like the rest, it's just like it work like a regular caulking gun. If you have this type of, uh, let's say I'm gonna call it a sausage stuff, you you get to use one of this gun. It doesn't work with a regular caulking gun. If you guys want to know the difference, I show you. Here I have one of the regular caulking gun. This is a regular caulking gun. We're gonna be, once we're doing this, we're gonna use some uh, waterproof caulking. So this is a regular caulking gun. So you are not able to use uh, this, this sausage. On the regular gun, you need one of this. If you don't have one of this gun, you just can buy the a tube like this one for the same compound. And uh, so we cover the cup. We cover. Other thing that we're gonna do in here, I show you. I have this pre-cut in there. And you see, this is one piece that is cut on a 45 degree. I believe is a cedar. So all we do, you put it on the corner. And we're gonna screw it on or nail it on. But before I do that, I want to put some caulking to fill in that gap. I just want to be sealed. And the corner here, you see like a, I already have this pre-cut. I'm just gonna mat the corner. Like you guys can see, gonna be 
a little bit bigger gap in there because I want to match with this one too at the same time. So this gap I just would just fill it in because the wood is bad. It's just because the wall, you can see the wall, like this is not a 45 degree. You can see this part is all indented in there a bit. But either way, what we plan in here, just to keep this one tight to the wall. And the sad one is straight with this one that come there, the old part. So this is cover all the way down. Just pick up them, gonna go against the wall. And another thing that we're gonna do, I explained for you in here. This is why I need the belt sander, like you guys can see here this part. If I just put it like that, it would build up a bit. Once I put the nails and the tape in here, would build up a bit and would accumulate a little bit of water on this end. So the belt sand that I want it for, I just gonna gonna send this part where the drip cap gonna go. I just gonna send it down for about one eight. Down that way, once the water go, just go straight. So like you guys can see here, if I just put it like this, put the tape on to seal it, put nails and all that stuff, this thing gonna be quite a bit higher. If I go up there, about almost a quarter, so only on the end, this much I would have water accumulating there because this is gonna be a little bit higher. So I don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna sand it down for about a one eight a core and do the pre-fill. This side there I'm not too crazy to worry about it because the water would run this way. But this part, yes, this part I just gonna sand it down. Doesn't take long with a good sand like a, this sand they are very good. This my kit is a great sand. I have it for a long time and it just keep going. The sad one here I have it even for longer. Is I skewed. They always just keep going, never give me a headache. Being like a kind of pretty much abuse using many jobs. And it just worked great. Let's keep working here and we we show you guys the process. In this plywood in here, like you guys can see, I have a little bit difference between the two plywood. So what I'm gonna do, I just not gonna send all the way down, but I'm gonna send this guy a little bit back. That way I have a smooth uh, transition in here when you step on the balcony. But once you send, you gotta check the nails. I'm just gonna get a hammer, I'm just gonna pop this guys a little bit in more. That way I don't destroy my sandpaper for the belt sand. I'm just gonna get a hammer and I got these guys out. I'm just gonna remove this one. It's on the way. So this guy is out. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use what I have in here, high screw. I'm just gonna punch this guy a little bit deeper. And then I'm gonna clean it good. Another thing that you guys could do, could put some ear plug. All right, that helps. Like if you're doing it once, maybe it's no problem, but sometimes we just gotta do it several times. Ear plugs help to protect yourself. And I'm just gonna put my homemade mask because I can't, I can't find masks to buy, so homemade one. I'm just gonna regulate this guy a bit in here. What I'm doing here, I just try to keep the belt, straighten up that part, you keep the belt rotating there because the way it was, it was pulling to this side of the sand, that way it would destroy your belt in no time. You want the belt to be like this one because it's too close in there. You're just gonna destroy your, your sand, and the belt would not last long. So this is this is the button that you use to regulate it. I can show you guys the difference. You see? Right now, just rotate like that. Let me see. I move a little bit this side. You see how the belt already moved this way? So you just need to get it back again to the position. That's the 
first one. This is good enough. Oh, okay, let's send this guy down. Just to show you guys. You see this side here is a... Uh, I'm not too crazy about a perfect job. But all I want is just to have something like this. This way I can put my compound, it's more or less straight. So you guys can see the difference from that side to this side, so. I just need to sand it down quite a bit in there. That way I spend less compound and feel it feels better to walk when you walk on. So this is what we need the belt sander for, for this part and for that side to put the drip strip. So let's uh, let's get to work in here. Like you guys can see, it doesn't take long and uh, you would spend less material and feel much better for the feet, you guys can see right now. It's very much straight. Alright. That is one part of it. You want to do your drip cup. Nothing too crazy. Like I have it in here. If you guys look uh, really close, you can see the difference. See. On the board there would be a little bit higher. Once I put the screws and the drip cap, the water will just run off this part, right? Nice and easy. Some, some matter you need to go a little bit more than the other one. See like this one here, we need to go for it because right now it looks very much straight. Like you guys can see. Once we put the drip cap, just gonna show up so we need to send bring this down. It's work but on the end the job pay pay for it and looks a way better. And this side here is the side that we need to go quite a bit more, you see. Once you look at it, it's pretty much straight so we just need to to send this guy down about one eight at least. It would just go right that guys gonna put some screws. Okay guys like on this side here I just gonna show you guys I just gonna set up the drip cup underneath the this 45 the angle piece. So I just gonna put it there that way I have the gap to push it in later. Because not is really hundred percent ready on that side. Like you guys can see this wall is very coarse, we just gonna need to do a once we do the membrane. We just have to do a real good tip of cock in there that we hold it on place. Because this is like rough, rough, rough. Yeah, this suit is done. This is the way we need it. That way if some water hit the wall, it just run, run out. Yeah, guys, like you can see, this wall has a lot of bows, like some part are in, some part are out. So we have a nice gap in there. But we just gotta fill that in later once we have this all the membrane on and then we go with uh, some deck silicone sealing all this part sealing the drip cup wherever we have some space we just go from there that thing we do the caulking after we have the membrane on all sealed because sometimes uh, you see this caulking some good cock is a kind of flexible, sometimes just the membrane will not hold very good on top of it. But this is why we do the caulking after we have the leak membrane on, which seal better. Hello my friends, after a few hours of work in this sanding, looking good. 
And what we done here, I can show you guys. Here we, we had a big bridge in that area, but here I cut off the old uh, fiberglass. That way I can uh, put the dripping cup in there. Right in there, and then I put the tape. Then it's gonna be even. Uh, if you come a little bit far, you have a little bit difference in there. You guys can see it's just one eight, but once we put the drip cup, and that tape to seal the join, just gonna be pretty much even. And here we had that uh, big ridge, was big, it's still big. Like, you guys can see it's not totally straight, but we get it down quite a bit, but it's still a kind of high. I might even do a little bit more sand. And what we done in here, sand all the joints with the belt sander. And on this side, like you guys can see, this uh, we send the board in there. It's pretty much is what we want. A little bit lower in that end. That way, when we put the dripping cap, we are good in there. The drip, this space here would be just for that way the water has a slope to go. No water gonna be accumulated on the balcony. You guys can see on the end is a little bit too lower than the mid, so. The water is running good, and like you can see, we just send the joints with the belt sander to clean it. I just uh, took a few hours to do that, and it just uh, it's pretty much getting dark in here. We're gonna pack up for a bit, and tomorrow we're back on it on a spare time. We're gonna spare a few hours, so with a few hours, we should be able, like. Three, four hours should be able to do put the tape on the joints and put all the dripping cups around. Here was very high. We had, we had to drain on it quite a bit. No looks all right. Like you guys can see, the end is a little bit lower. Right there. Once we put the dripping cup, this is gonna be no water gonna accumulate because sometimes if you don't do don't send down a little bit lower once you put the drip cup become a little bit high about one eight because you need to put the drip cup and need to put the tape to seal it and then you have a some water accumulating there all we try to do is try to eliminate any accumulation of water. Sometimes we still have a little bit, but uh, at least we do the best we can. And here, nothing to craze. This drip cup, I just have it in here to make sure I have my gap. Because once I really gonna put it, because I put there, I just need that space in there. So this is why I'm gonna leave it just uh, stuck a little bit like that. That way the suit is a little bit higher. It doesn't get stuck on the, on the cotton. And then tomorrow once I finish this part, put the drip cap and then I put some extra screws. Once you look on the joint, if you lose, look close enough, you have a little gap there right where you're gonna put the tape. This is what we look for. Just a tiny bit to there. The tape is very thin, I can show you guys. It is a very thin tape, so it doesn't take much space. Show you guys again. This tape, once you put the seal in there, and run a knife on top of it, very much it's just gonna almost disappear on the joint. Oh, this is the intention, not to have so much uh, bump and ridge on this thing, but sometime, if you don't let it dry properly, once you put the tape, sometime it is still show, because once you put the the top coat, the prime and the, the base coat and the top coat, this guys lift it up a little bit, so the idea is just do it and let it totally dry. And then you do the prime and the top coat. That's how we go. Let's wrap up here the day. 
I just want to keep my neighbor happy, so it's uh, already past seven. And let's stop some noise, just gonna clean up some of the stuff with the broom. And tomorrow we continue, probably later on the day tomorrow. Just I want to put the sealer before it get a night time, because night time it get a kind of a cool. And it's good to have some warm weather to for the product to work good. Okay, let's wrap up for the day and we continue tomorrow. Hello my friends, here day two on my balcony and uh, we just keep going here. In this case here I just cut like you saw before, I cut the old fiberglass back and put a drip cup and no, I'm just gonna put a tape between the drip cap and the balcony itself. This is a very tiny tape. Very, not very, very thick. Oh, this is a, I'm just covering up the board of the dripping cap. Here is a little bit harder than the joint because it's just, it's a little bit slant. I just have to clean that way. Just stretch it good, a little bit of work. But we get in there. Some area that if you think you need a little bit more cock, you just can go like on top because it would go through the the tape. Beside that, once I'm done in here, I'm just gonna coat it with the master seal membrane. Like I said, this one here is a little bit hard because we have a little bit of angle in there. I didn't change the angle of this one because the way it is, the water come from there, the water all goes down here, so it's just gonna keep the same way. On this end here, before I put the drip cup, I just fill in the gaps. Fill in all this gap before I put the, my drip cup, just for you guys to see. I have them all pre-cut. In this case here, this one, I just cut it this way. Just to show you, I'm not gonna nail it right now. Because I'm gonna see how much product that I have left. So, for my drip cup in this case, I just want to go on top here a little bit. Because I want this side a little bit high, that way the water just go that way. Just to show you. And then we just now it on. And uh, like you guys can see here, the drip cup I'm keep it a, about a quarter inch back from the board of uh, the balcony. And then here, I just show you on this joint here how, how we do it. Just for the video, right? I just go, just make sure the cock is in there. All the way down. What I do, I just gun with the knife. Run it all way through. If I need a little bit more, I put a little bit more. Usually I fill in the nail holes, thing like that. That way I know it's sealed. And if I need to put a little bit more, I just put a tiny bit more in there. And I just go with the knife. Join is nice and flat. Let me get my knife in there. This one you can cut with the snip or can cut with the knife. Just use a, a knife to cut it. I just tie my tape here on the side because this tape already run to the neighbor ones. I do that, I just put this part. Just gonna tighten up good. See, I am putting a little bit pressure because I want it like tight. And the way that I run my knife, you see my knife is running flat. But I just want it to be tight to the sealant and then uh, go from there. Like here, you can see it's more or less halfway. The joint is right there. I'm just gonna put more or less halfway. Then I just use the knife, cut it. See this tape pretty much doesn't take much space. Space that it occupied is very little. I'm gonna put a little bit more cork in there. Nice and easy. And uh, let me see here, I can show you guys. This is the sample that the product that we're gonna use. We're just gonna go with this one. And we just put some little bit of aggregate, that way it's not uh, 
is slippery, so it would be something like this old one in here. You can see have a little bit of sand in there. But gonna be light gray one. And you just uh, go from there one more time. The tape that we use is this tape. It's not a fiber tape. I think it's some type of a polyester or something like that. The sealer. We have the master sealer. And it's nice and easy. I'm gonna do the joints. I'm gonna do all the joints the way you guys see here. Once I have this all done, I'm just gonna go for the nail hole, right? Do the nail holes. Make sure they are nice and sealed. And uh, some uh, whatever bigger hole like that. Like I say, don't have to be, in this case here for us, doesn't have to be like 100% perfect because we just want it a little bit rough. Show you again the drip cup, like this one, I just cut like this. You can cut it just this way, make your curve. This one in here. I just cut to one by one, one piece and then put the joint. Like you guys see, still my quarter inch is there. I have a quarter inch gap on it. Because the thing is, uh, whenever you're doing the balcony, sometimes it is a little bit uh, crooked. So if you give a quarter inch space, you're not gonna be in trouble once you put it. Look nice and straight. In this case here, I'm just uh, overlapping one on top of the other. You can cut them straight. In this case here, I am doing it. Just keep it a little bit more sealed, like you can see, like the nail hole in there. I have my quarter inch. And this one is just overlap a little bit. I just want to make sure I'm not gonna have water leaking. I just cut there to make my 45 degree. And this part here, I straighten up a little bit. Once it's done, I'm just gonna cook it. You see on the seam, and the reason that I put this one, I could cut it straight like the other one I show you, but this one I have it on top because I, I just don't want this corner to be a little bit higher because I don't want the water to drip that way. I just want the water to drip this way. So this is why I, I made this on, on purpose. That way we have it uh, the way we want it to be. For this one in here, the dripping cup, it is uh, very simple. We just put it on, like we just go, like I want it underneath there. Okay, nice and tight. I'm just gonna use a thin snipper to cut it and remove it from there. And very much we're good to go in here. And then if you not cut it, if you want to straighten up the cut a little bit more, just straighten up. Eh? And like you guys can see there, I have more, again, I have my quarter inch gap right down there. And this one the same way, overlap a little bit. So this guy is very easy to cut. And we just go from there. And the drip cup looks like this because you have different dripping cup. This one is for the balcony. You would have some for the wind. This one, like if you don't mind the brown side, you can use for, for the window too, on top of the wind. But whenever you buy the drip cup, you just have to look how your job is and how, what you need for it. In this case, we just need it to drip that way. The water goes. And it just drip that way, and we just want it on white, nice and easy. And guys, I'm gonna keep going here because I'm just gonna put a few hours in today again and get this stuff wrapped up, red to do the membrane. And I'm gonna show you guys later. I'm hoping this guy is still good because I used this a uh, few months ago. I sealed it good. And once I'm doing this, I'm still gonna come before do the finish finish coat on top. I'm gonna come and do a pre-join, just go with the roller, roll it right on the, all the joints and now the screws to make sure that it has the extra extra coat of paint or membrane for this video. And if you have a question, just let me know. And uh, this one here, we show you how to prepare a balcony to do a liquid membrane. In this case, we use gonna use the Master Seal product because it's a good product. This product, we use it on a, a lot of time you use it on a commercial parking lot and it can, uh, 
can handle the pressure. And uh, the thing is this, this product, you don't find them on a home hardware. You have to go to a specialty store because they don't sell them. All right, I love you guys. And uh, let's keep going here. Yes, my friends, like you can see here, I use a stainless steel knife. The reason that I like stainless steel is because it doesn't leave a mark. Sometimes if you use just the regular steel knife, it leaves some uh, contaminant on the product. Probably it's not uh, even a little bit rust, it not uh, bleed through this product. But just in case, I prefer to use the stainless steel knife and uh, work very good. This is a five inches knife. If you have like three inches knife, probably would work very good too because you can put a little bit more pressure on the, the amount of space but here like you see not to work with pressure because if you put a lot of pressure on this tape it's very thin it's gonna just fold and make some ridge so the, the thing here is just work just to make it have contact with the sealant and um, I love you guys let's rock and roll my friends yeah I just ran out of uh, the sealant so I just uh, had an idea, I have some uh, sawdust from the plywood. So what I'm done, I have some sawdust and I have this leftover from another job. It's a little bit, few months old. And all I'm doing, I'm just gonna mix it up with the sawdust. That way I have a compound to fill in all the gap, uh, screws, holes, all that stuff. So what I put in here, really just add some uh, sawdust. I didn't put a specific amount, I want it to be soft. So I'm just gonna mix this guy up like you mix a cake. And I want it kind of soft. There I have my mic, you guys can see, because this stuff is a self-leveling. Once I leave it, you can see how it runs. So I just want it more or less this soft, where I can fill in screw holes and all the holes I show you. It's just a solution that I can buy, because once the store is closed by now, it's getting late on the evening, and beside that is a little bit hassle to get this stuff because the coronavirus, get a call, get a prepay for it, and then get a pick up. It's a little bit of a work. It's not just walk on the store and pick it up. What I'm showing here, just, uh, you see the plywood have uh, gaps, holes, and stuff. As you can see, many holes, screw holes, uh, whatever I come by, right? Just gonna go. And check where are the screws and uh, nails and all that stuff. I just fill it in. How we go? I mean, you see the plywood has a lot of those stuff, holes on it. I'm just gonna fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. How we go? Just a, a solution that I come up in here. We're gonna use the same product, so it's nothing different, except different color. So this will work very good. It's a, something that I come up with, and uh, by adding the sawdust to it, it is good, strong stuff, good for what we need. I know my daughter just told me that I have this hat with the name. 
I didn't know what that mean, but now I see the... She told me what it is. It's a company there that tied the know, guys. Just somebody gave to me. It says that to work, somebody from Alberta. Work with them, so she gave me the hat and today was a little bit sun. I didn't want to burn my head. I just put it up on the end is what it is. <laughs> Life is great. Okay, uh, once we have all this thing wrapped up, we show you guys how it looks. All right, red for for the top coat, the priming top coat. For now, I just uh, gonna keep going here for a bit more before it get dark, and let's rock and roll. Hello, my friends, Bayan here, just to show you how my prep for the liquid membrane looks like. So I went through the place, I patch all the little gap and holes and stuff like that. Put the tape on, on the joints. And thing looks good. We have a little bit of rain on top of it. It just uh, didn't leak downstairs, so it's good. You just get to wait for a few days of sun and then we're just gonna roll it on and I didn't show you the nails that I use this type of nail that I use to nail on the dripping cup they don't get rust so they are uh, they are coated I don't have a measuring tape here but I say about inch and a quarter inch and a half if you want a bigger one can be a big one but I like this one because it doesn't take much space and it's enough to hold the drip cup here I'm just gonna show you where we had the big gaps this one here where the old and the new meat was a big gap in there it didn't look solid I mean like this stuff is uh, just to show you look at it's, uh, it's rubber you can see it move a little bit, you push it, it's like a rubber. And here on this corner, the old one where I put it, you can see it's like, look, hand bang hard, this stuff is just nice and strong. And there we go, it's about it. Now I just check the view. I love you guys, thank you, and uh, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and put your thumbs up.